This video is for instructional purposes only. The information presented is one point of view and not intended to replace individual recommendations and follow up with a qualified naturopathic doctor or herbalist. I use and recommend the Nature Sunshine line of supplements. The views expressed do not necessarily represent the views of Nature Sunshine. I'm Jane Semple. I'm a naturopathic doctor practicing in Cleveland, Ohio. We're here today to talk about cholesterol. All human cells contain cholesterol. It's very protective. 50% uh, of the weight of the brain is cholesterol, so it is very necessary for you. Uh, cholesterol is required to produce all of our sex hormones. Uh, Dr. Kilmer McCulley of Harvard in 1969, and that is over 40 years ago, uh, recognized cholesterol as the solution, not the problem. Inflammation is the problem. As the arteries become inflamed, they start to break down. Cholesterol is then used as a patch to patch up the arteries to keep them from leaking. So if, um, if you're just looking at reducing cholesterol and you think that that is the solution, it would be like if you had a pool and as the pool started leaking, you started to patch it. Now, if you looked at your pool and decided that there was a problem because your pool had a lot of patches and you went along and you pulled all the patches off, would that help your pool? No, it would just cause leaking. So it is not gonna be very helpful for your arteries either. Then we look at how high is high. According to the current medical diagnosis and treatment, um, 240 is, is actually healthy for a woman at the age of menopause, rising to 270 by the age of 70. For men, 220 is healthy at about the age of 45 or 50, rising to 250 by the age of 70. Studies do not show that reducing cholesterol artificially with drugs reduces cardiovascular events. Um, there was a very large five-year statin study, and what they did is they took half the people, put them in a statin group, and half of them put them in a placebo group. Um, by the end of the five-year study, 20% of the statin group were no longer taking their drug because of side effects. On the placebo side, you had a third of the placebo people were being given a statin drug by their physician, they were left in the placebo group. So at the end of five years, you had, a, you had a combination group compared to a combination group, okay? So the statin group had a 5.7% death rate from cardiovascular. The placebo group, a 6.9. So that little tiny 1.2% all of a sudden becomes 30% in, um, in their lingo. Um, and then they mentioned at the end of the study, it hadn't been intended, but what happened was that the placebo group was also significantly more likely to have smoked and had high blood pressure, both uh, known to cause cardiovascular death. So how good is statin research? Not very. Um, statin drugs interfere with liver detoxification. They do reduce cardiovascular, perhaps a uh, smidgen, a very small amount, but they also increase cancer deaths. Uh, there was one study where uh, statin drugs actually increased uh, new cancer uh, by 25%, pretty sizable. Um, statin drugs also increase suicide and dementia. Now, in addition to your total cholesterol, um, HDL, which is your high-density lipoprotein, uh, we always refer to it as a healthy, um, HDL is somewhat more uh, important in women than total cholesterol is. And when your good cholesterol or your HDL is over 70, that is called longevity syndrome. In addition to uh, your cholesterol numbers, your triglycerides are also very important. Most tests are looking for about 150, but that is only true until about the age of 30 or 40. And then every decade of life, you're allowed an extra 10. So although the lower, certainly the better. Um, so what do we do naturally for cholesterol? The first thing that we want to do is Dr. Diadamo's blood type diet. This works especially well. I use it for all my patients, but it works especially well for cholesterol and blood pressure. Blood type O's do better with um, so a lot of vegetables, but with some of the darker meats, um, the beef and the lamb. And staying away from grains. Grains will absolutely increase triglycerides and eventually cholesterol. Blood type A's do better with a lot of vegetables, but with the lighter meats like turkey and chicken. And 
their cholesterol will go up when they're eating dark meat or when they're eating a lot of uh, dairy products, especially cheese which I don't recommend. You can pick up Dr. Diadamo's books and I'm sure anywhere on the internet also. Another thing that you can do is exercise. Exercise will decrease overall cholesterol. It will increase the HDL or the healthy cholesterol. So that's very good for you. Um, low in fam uh, inflammatory fiber are oats, apple pectin, brown rice, and psyllium, all very good for you. Uh, supplements that you can do. I recommend the same chelation program for cholesterol as I do for blood pressure. Uh, Mega Cal and a trace mineral, uh, one three times a day. Uh, you do that for a couple weeks, then you increase to two three times a day. Um, stay up there for a period and then start reducing back down. Um, men can go up to three, three times a day for um, a while, but I recommend that women stay at six. Uh, we don't have as much blood volume as men, so we don't need uh, it to be as high. Um, you may have read um, reports that wine is very good for us, that it reduces cardiovascular death, um, and that red wine is good. They have done studies where they have taken um, people, given them white wine, red wine, or vitamin C. White rot, after two hours, white wine increases the antioxidant value of your blood by 7%. Red increases at 11%. Um, and then if you took 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, it increases it to 29 so that is four, uh, 7, 11, and 29%. Uh, vitamin C, clearly the better choice. Vitamin E, Dr. Evan Shute, a Canadian, uh, did studies on vitamin E in the 1950s, writing a book on vitamin E in the heart. Uh, vitamin E is shown to be very protective, reducing cardiovascular events, and very much worth, uh, worthwhile. If you do vitamin E, you want a natural one, not the synthetic that you're gonna get in drugstores. Um, you have tocopherols, tocotrienols, so we really do need the full spectrum of vitamin E. Um, Dr. McCulley at Harvard, uh, he looked at inflammation, and what he said was what reduces inflammation are the B-complex vitamins, especially B6, B12, and, and uh, folic acid, along with the vitamin C, and along with uh, food enzymes. So I do recommend that you choose, again, a B-complex, one of the Cs, and one of the enzymes. Essential fatty acids are very good for increasing HDL. Uh, they may reduce total cholesterol a little bit, but they're mostly used to increase the healthy cholesterol. And again, the higher the HDL, the better. Garlic, there are over 2,000 studies of garlic, um, all shown positive effects. Uh, garlic is excellent for the cardiovascular system. It will reduce your cholesterol a little bit. It also has a good effect on your blood pressure. If you cannot get it down another way, then you can go to red yeast rice. I use the Nature Sunshine line, and this bottle would recommend two red yeast rice three times a day. I don't have any one on more than two a day. I usually recommend one a day. Go to two if you need it. Again, we want to keep your cholesterol healthy. A woman below 240, a man below 220. Something that was taught to me that I like to, to recommend to my clients is capsicum extract. It is said that capsicum extract will reverse and, and will stop a mild to moderate heart attack. And I suggest to people that they keep it with them. I have one in my car, one in my purse, one at home. Um, it works very well. If you're interested in more information on cholesterol, please pick up my book, Cholesterol and Inflammation, A Naturopathic Approach. It is available through uh, Woodland Publishing online, also any of your online retailers. And I thank you very much for your attention today.